I talked about this with Catalba College Group. Um, I quoted Thomas Edison by, by saying, most people miss opportunity because it's dressed in overalls and, and looks like hard work. And of course, they all laughed. But basically, I, I, I said, that's how I've made it, my living in art, is through diversity and do everything. I've done framing like yourself, and, mm -hmm. and I've done restoration, and I've done teaching classes through uh, colleges. We would send people to my studio. And uh, see, what else did I do? Well, so basically, it's, uh, it, it's just diversity was, was the major thing I wanted to emphasize. When did you realize your creativity could give you a vocation? Well, I guess my mother exposed me to art as a child. She was she liked painting herself, and so therefore uh, the smell of oil paints was always around the house. So that was kind of, uh, I guess I say that was uh, uh, my early exposure was important. I think that's what it, that's good for any young person if they're exposed to something at those those vulnerable years. What they call the formative years, formative. like four mm -hmm. years old, three mm -hmm. years old, and. So I was brought up around that, and I think that's what saved me as far as uh, education is concerned because I didn't do well in all the other subjects. So like a lot of boys have problems, mm -hmm. you know, with uh, the academics, and luckily because of art, I excelled there and I never felt I had uh, inadequacy. Well, your creativity led you into a vocation, but in the beginning, was it more or less an outlet for you? Well, it's, it, like sometimes, I guess, you know how I say a hobby can lead to a career. Also, a hobby could lead you down the road of destruction. You know, so it, it depends on how you handle it. <laughs> but in my case, it was uh, it was a, a, a constructive thing. And creativity is about making things. It's really kind of like, I guess, creativity is about producing stuff. I always was interested in manufacturing, and which is what I do now. It's a lot of things I do is like yourself with framing. We're in fact, we are the catalyst for each other. I make the pennies, you make the frame, and we got we make a good team. So I we're like doing pretty the, good. The story you told me about going into your basement as a child, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and your father did not want you to leave the light on, and you did something to change the light switch so he thought it was off, and you, what did you do down in the basement? Mm. That, was well, a very, that was a very sneaky thing on my part to do that. And what but, were you doing in the basement? Well, I, I had my, I had my, my models, and my, uh, I had uh, made airplanes and cars and worked with balsa wood, you know, like, like a lot of kids mm -hmm. have hobbies. And Didn't you start casting then? Uh, I started working with plaster at an early age, getting the feel for that. And I, I like the feel of, I like plaster for its uh, ability to transform things, I guess. And I, just like clay, clay had that, um, well, it gets, to, it gets to the point where my mother would say to me, hey, take this clay and make something. When you get tired of it, make something else. Squish it around and make something else. And therefore, clay became all toys to me rather than just one toy. So she introduced you to plasticine and, yeah, and exactly. those early clays. Exactly.